Welcome back everybody to 5 Minute Message. I just want to thank today's sponsor, Coin Kitty. Because, uh, uh, well actually I just found this and um, yes, I'm, I'm very scared. Okay, well that maybe is representative about uh, how crazy we're all going at home. It's, these are still crazy times. We're not with our friends, we're not uh, going to school, we're not at church, we're not doing anything, we're still stuck at home. And so uh, I wanted to share with you a story that happened to me while I was stuck at home and maybe share some thoughts too. So, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago when I came home from vacation, we had to self-quarantine for 14 days. I mean, you can't leave the house. You stay in and you cannot leave. So we had to get some family members and people to bring us some groceries just so we could survive. And, uh, you know, in the middle of this quarantine, it was very strange. We're all at home kind of doing nothing and we heard a knock on the door, which is very weird because uh, it's not our family, it's not our friends, uh, you know, we, you know, it was just out of nowhere. So we checked, we slowly opened the door, and what did we find? We found this amazing box filled to the top with prepared meals store-bought prepared meals i'm talking chicken and ribs and stuffed peppers and mashed potatoes and oh you name it i'll show you a picture of uh, what we found and this was so shocking who would do something like this well i'll tell you it wasn't my siblings it wasn't it wasn't a family it wasn't close friends it wasn't someone from the church but it was actually our neighbors across the street and there they were, down our street, and they waved and chatted, and, and we, we we didn't know what to say. And really, we were just like, what, you know, why? We were, Thank you, this is amazing. And all they had to say was, you know, we just heard about your situation, and we're just doing our part. Or just doing their part. Well, that's amazing, that's so great, that's so encouraging that someone would do that. And they're doing it just out of the kindness and generosity of their heart. They're, they're not asking for anything. They're just doing their part. Which kind of which kind of begs the question, wait a minute. Well, who's got parts? Do, do I have a part? Do you have a part? What's my part to play in this whole thing? What is my part to play as a Christian? And so, you know what? The Bible actually talks about this a lot. You know, one of the, um, a key theme of the Bible and something that Jesus teaches is to love and serve and do good to one another, to carry each other's burdens and to, and to give of yourself and your time. So here's a verse, you know, this is a theme in the Bible and I want to read you a verse from Galatians uh, 6. And uh, I'll read a couple of verse 2 and then verse 9 and 10. So first of all, Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Carry each other's burdens. Help one another out. We go down to verse 9. It says this, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Well, it's a very simple concept. Just as a farmer sows, puts seeds in the ground, you water it, you wait, what happens? It grows into a harvest and then you get everything that grows, all the fruit. So in the same way, God's saying here, do not, do not get weary of doing good. Don't be like, oh, okay, I guess I'll help them out. No, build into people, serve one another, do good to those. For at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. God's going to bless you through that. Maybe he, you'll be rewarded in heaven or you'll be rewarded here on earth. You'll receive joy and satisfaction and God will bless you here on earth. So it actually continues on. It says, verse 10, Therefore, therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. As we have opportunity. Well, we might think now is a time that is, uh, we don't have any opportunity. Nope, I'm stuck at home. I'm just minding my own business and I'm just making sure I'm okay. You know, a lot of times we can, when, when we're in these crises or these weird states, we can just really focus on ourselves. And all I got to make sure I'm taken care of. But that's exactly the opposite. God says, no, 
look to the needs of others, especially when you have opportunity. Well, I'm going to tell you, youth, I think now more than ever, we have opportunity to help people. So you may be thinking, and this is what we can discuss. How can I love and serve one another? How can I carry the burdens of someone else? I don't have money. I can't go buy food for everyone. So how can you do it? Well, I think it is a lot of things. Giving of yourself and your time. Maybe your parents are stressed about this and you're not stressed. So how can you help them? How can you alleviate their burden? How can you, how can you just be a help at home? That's pretty easy. Well, maybe now is a great time that you can call grandma and grandpa. Let them know you care. Have a conversation. Tell them you love them, that you're thinking about them. And just that's going to bring so much joy and happiness to them. And even serving others. Now, you might don't have to go take someone's whole grocery list, but maybe you can bake something and drop it off. There's so many ways that you can, that you can love and serve other people at this time and really do your part. So let's continue the conversation. Let's uh, chat about ways that you can use your gifts and your talents to serve God, to serve one another, carry each other's burdens and, and doing your part. So how can you do your part? Let's chat more about that.